bonus. We're gonna talk a little bit more about portion sizes, and then I'm just gonna give you some tips about uh, where to buy food and uh, some yummy snack tips. So, a lot of times you're surprised about the actual serving size of food. Um, so I picked some of my favorites to just demonstrate to you so you can see exactly what a serving size looks like. Um, so I had my quinoa out, so I just poured some out. Here's a quinoa. According to the box, one serving size is a quarter cup, uncooked. This is what a quarter cup looks like. Um, so if you're in, rice is about the same, uncooked. So if you're eating a lot more than that, that's a lot more calories than uh, a serving size actually dictates. Something to consider. Another thing um, is steel cut oats. I love steel cut oats. And for good measure, I pulled out some instant oatmeal, maple and brown sugar. I keep it in my house. I have kids. Is it the best thing? No. Um, but as far as some other options that people could be eating for breakfast, it's probably better. Um, but I do get my kids to eat steel cut oats. It's really yummy. And actually, you can even cook this in the crock pot overnight. Um, but this is a serving of still cut it, quarter cup. This is a one cup serving of the Kashi Golden Crunch that I showed you earlier in uh, the other part of my video. One cup is a serving. Almonds. Almonds are uh, one of my favorite snacks throughout the day. Um, and I read a study actually that shows that one serving of almonds will not affect your weight. So it's almost like eating free food. And I love to eat. So whenever I can eat free food, I eat it. Um, so these are almonds. They're just 100% natural, no salt. Some people like them salted. I don't because 15 years ago I was diagnosed with high blood pressure, which I no longer have because I control with diet. Um, but I do limit my salt. And I limit my portions. And so rule of thumb, the amount of almonds that you can fit on a post-it note. It's actually about 18, but I ate one earlier. So it's actually 17 on here now. Oops. Um, eggs, one egg is your serving size. I almost always have two. Who wants one egg? I don't know, it's two servings. Here is a serving size of blueberries. And then I have my fruits. Um, it's usually one medium apple. This is small and it's actually from my garden, which makes me really excited. So I would eat two. Um, and a yummy, healthy kid snack. Throw some peanut butter on it or some PB2, which I forgot to mention um, earlier. This is dehydrated peanuts, or peanut butter, powdered peanut butter, no fat, but has all of the yummy peanut taste. So I will often add this to my shakes, and you can actually reconstitute it as well. Um, but I would typically just go for some natural peanut butter instead of reconstituting that. Uh, and, oh, so this is a banana, obviously, just case you didn't know, it's a pretty big banana. Um, so I would cut it in half and I would share it with my kids. Um, and I, I would share it because, and I would share it right away because I don't like when it gets all brown and weird after you cut it. This is a perfect example of a, a serving size of, an, of a pear. And this orange is from my garden, but it's pretty ginormous. I cut it in half, share it with one of my kids. Um, and I also wanted to talk about vegetables because I, I know I talked about it earlier. Uh, again, because I have kids and I'm busy and I work, um, I try to find the vegetables that I can prepare quickly because a lot of times I'll buy uh, vegetables and I intend to cut them up and I don't. Um, so I found the Steam Fresh stuff and if you are a member of a store like Ralph's or Vaughn's, um, places like that that have uh, the store cards can often get this stuff um, on discount. So I actually get most of the stuff at a store called Bonds. I shop there a lot. They track my spending and then I get these ridiculous deals on the things that I eat. So I think I paid, um, so I don't remember how much I paid, but all I know is really reduced. And the ingredient in here is broccoli. No preservatives. It's just broccoli. So I stick it in the microwave, cook it, done. Sweet potatoes, same thing. They're already mashed. They're roasted sweet potatoes. I get this from Trader Joe's, which is another one of my favorite stores. I know not everybody has Trader Joe's, but there are so many supermarkets nowadays that are covering, or that 
um, provide food like this in the freezer section. Um, so these are roasted mashed potatoes. The serving size is five pieces. They come frozen. Stick it in a microwave. Done. Ingredients? Sweet potatoes. Perfect. Um, and then I also wanted to discuss non-animal forms of proteins, which I didn't mention in the last one. Um, so we often have, um, we have little themes at our house. Monday is meatless Monday. Lentils, here's an example. Um, Italian protein, it's a legume, um, and like black beans. My kids love these too, kid friendly. A lot of different ways you can prepare this if you are a uh, non-animal eater, but we're not, we're actually carnivores in this house. Um, and then for people who do eat fish and other things, um, tuna is really good. This is really handy. I'll often I'll, I'll rinse it so I can get some of the sodium off. I have to watch that. All of this really isn't high in sodium. So takeaways. Watch your portion sizes. It's often smaller than what you think, unless it's something like vegetables or fruits. A lot of times you can get more. You volumize, you feel fuller longer. Um, Check out your favorite grocery because you'll be surprised at all of the fun little healthy treats that you could find um, that are inexpensive, quick to prepare, and you know your kids and your family have a good meal. And remember your non-animal form of protein like your legumes, your beans and your black beans, your white beans. Um, yeah, I think that, oh, one more thing. Deck of cards. Deck of cards is about the size of a serving of lean protein that you would have. So chicken, pork chop, a piece of steak should be the size of a deck of cards. That was important to mention. Now I think that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment, hit me up on Facebook. Um, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Have a healthy day.